Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is a Tranmere Rovers versus Bradford City vlog now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on today's video that we massively appreciate let's try and go for 60 likes on today's video you guys absolutely smashed the support on the last vlog you got over a thousand views nearly a hundred likes so thank you so much for that so if you could try and hit a big target once again that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that before the end of the season and yeah today is boxing day so i hope you all had a great christmas hope you all enjoying your boxing day hopefully we can get a slightly late christmas present and city can bring us home all three points my score prediction for this game i did say my match preview i, I said 2-2 but i've seen both starting lineups Tramir have got a very strong side and West for some reason it looks like we're playing Novak in number 10 role. I don't think the lineup they put out on Twitter will how it'll be. I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, I'm gonna stick with my 2-2. I'm gonna go with Novak and Paldi to score for Bradford and then for Tramir. I'm gonna go with James Vaughan and Corey Blackett Taylor. It's going to be a very, very difficult game today. It's a real, real test for Matt Truman. If we pick up another three points today, then I don't really see a reason why they, they shouldn't get a job because they were won their past. You know, they picked up 10 points from 12 games. They've played some decent sides. You know, Cambridge, they're in so solid promotional inside. Tramio were one of the favourites to win the league at the start of the season. Drawing at Crawley were alright, but then, you know, they've been in for like a couple of days, so you can't really expect them to work their miracles then. And then Grimsby, you know, they're a you know, they're pretty decent side, to be fair to them. Yeah, they have got a couple of injuries, that's why they're probably lower down in the table. But, yeah, my score prediction is 2-2. Hopefully I remember to put your guys' score predictions on screen. Let's get into the lineups. Here is the team then for Bradford City. Two changes from Tuesday's game. Harry Pritchard and Callum Cook come out and Clayton Donaldson and Gareth Evans come in. What I think it might be, it might be Donaldson on the left, Evans on the right, Clark in the 10 and Novak up front. I don't think it'll be Novak in the 10, but he has played in the number 10 role before, but apart from that, he's literally completely the same. Curtis Guthrie, he's no longer on the bench again. I don't know if that was tactical, because if it is, that's a bit harsh on him. I thought he played really well on Tuesday, so I presume that's injury. But yeah, that's the team. Also, just before we continue, on Wednesday, the 30th of December, I'm going to be starting my charity live stream for 24 hours. It'll be starting at midday at 12pm. There's a link to watch down in the description below. Obviously, it'll be starting on the 30th at midday and ending on Thursday, New Year's Eve. Um, that'll be over on Twitch. Link is down in the description. You can donate or come join in down in the description. I also put the Just Giving page at the top of the comments. So it would be massively appreciated if you come come over, join in. If you can donate, it would be massively appreciated. If not, don't worry about it. If you just want to tab the stream or just keep it open, adverts will run throughout the stream. And any money earned from the stream will also be donated to the Just Giving page. We're trying to raise as much money as possible for Mind. So if you could come over and check it out, that would be massively appreciated. But yeah, make sure you enjoy the video. Let's get on to it. Right then, it's Boxing Day, it's Tranmere away. Score predictions? 2-1 um, for Bradford City. Donaldson scoring one. And Novak scoring the other. Who's scoring for Tranmere? James Vaughan. Nothing would make me happier than to see James Vaughan get snapped in the first five minutes. Here we have it then, we are underway. A couple of the rapper players have been pally with James Vaughan. Donaldson, Novak and O'Donnell were all showing him some sort of respect and Spikey is currently climbing onto Spikey. He, he must know that Truman's in charge now, he's not going to sleep. Look, he's watching. He's watching. Connor Wood puts the ball in there, but it's headed away by Tranmere. It's been a decent start from us so far. We've had more of the ball. We're passing it around and Truman ball is in full swing. Just under four minutes gone, still nil-nil. Free kick for Tranmere, it'll be Liam Feeney to put the ball into the box, it's a terrible ball in there and Evans will clear that. Blackett Taylor's beaten Finkles and Dawson with ease but the ball is headed away by Connor Wood, it's come to Jay Spearing, found James Vaughan, it's a terrible touch though from James Vaughan and Novak will clear. Blackett Taylor's spun away from Cousin Dawson, it's a good tackle though by Pawley but Tranmere have still got the ball here. Blackett Taylor has a beating at Cousin Dawson all the time, shot comes in from distance, good save by O'Donnell, parried that one wide. Charlie Vaughan were offside there. Connor Wood's got some space to run into on his left hand side, he puts the ball in. It's just sliced out by Sid Nelson and that'll be a corner for the Bantams. It'll be Elliot Watt then to take the corner. Obviously once again right footed in swinger. To the back post. Powdy heads it back into the box but it's saved by the keeper, very comfortable that. Jay Spearing's got the ball here, he plays it forward to James Vaughan but Powdy wins the first one, James Vaughan's handled the second one but it's an easy catch for O'Donnell. Connor Wood's giving the ball away and James Vaughan got the ball on the right hand side, it's a good ball into the box, it's cut out though by Powdy O'Connor. Paul that from Connor Wood. Connor ball then for Tramme, I think it's Liam Feeney will take it on the far side. 
Good ball into the box, headed away by Anton O'Connor and Billy Clark hooks it up the pitch. Corner ball for Tramir, it comes in but that's an easy catch for Richard O'Donnell and that should be half time now. There we go then, that is half time, nil nil. Both teams have had some decent chances to be fair, I definitely say Tramir have been on top so far. They've been the better of the two sides, Cousin Dawson's been pretty poor but apart from that, no real complaints. We've struggled to get up the pitch at times but when we have got up the pitch, we've been playing pretty well. But yeah, half time, nil nil. Just a reminder about my charity stream starting on Wednesday at midday. Link down in the description to join the Twitch and uh, also to donate if that's what you fancy. But there's just less than 10 minutes to go until kickoff. Come on, sir. Here we are then. Billy Clark gets us underway for the second half. Apologies about the racket. I don't think we've made any changes. But anyway, we're underway. Lloyd cuts in on, onto his left foot, takes a shot on, but that one's well wide. Good football this by the Bantams, it's come to Cousin Dawson on the right, who gets a ball in, but that's a terrible ball in. Billy Clark's on the ball on this right hand side, goes inside to Sutton, who lays it off for Novak, who turns away from his man. Done well there as Novak, plays out to Cousin Dawson, well let's have a good ball in this time. It's a poor ball in again, but he's done well there to win a corner. Cousin Dawson's crossing isn't great, but he's in as a corner. Blackett Taylor, who's been one of Tramier's better players in this game, has come off and a bit Morgan Perry to come on for him. They made another change as well. Danny Lloyd's also left the pitch now, so in my opinion, I'd say that's a bit weaker, but now I've said that, probably Morris is going to assist the Ferrier goal. Clayton Donaldson and Gareth Evans will be coming off the pitch for Harry Pritchard and Callum Cook, so we're going back to the team that played against Grimsby from the start anyway. Just over half an hour left. Come on, see. Maybe my son's done very well on the right-hand side. Ball comes in. Yes! Lee Novak! Come on! He scored once again! Lee Novak makes it 1-0. Great play that from Levi Sutton. He got in just moments earlier and we couldn't quite make a chance but Sutton's absolutely hammered it across the face of goal. He's hit Novak in the face basically and it's gone in the back of the net. Great play once again and we are winning once again. Great play from Levi Sutton. That's a brilliant run. He's hammered it across. Novak's unmarked. And he finds a top corner. Mark Truman has got Lee Novak playing like Cristiano Ronaldo. Come on, Tramir overs nil. Bradford City won. Lee Novak's in. Oh, but he's just not got the pace to beat the keeper to it. Oh, that was a good chance with that. Still 1-0 here, 25 minutes to go. Number three's on the ball here, puts the ball into the box, into Ferrier. He spins away from Powell, he takes a shot on. What a save that is by Richard O'Donnell. Let's see what we can do with this free kick, then it will be Elliot Watt. Put that right on the keeper and up, someone can get there in front of him. Headed away by Vaughan. And we'll take a throw. Once again, one of our players have just been off the balls, and it's not even a talking to from the referee. But when Gareth Evans did it in the first half, it were an instant booking. This referee is very one sided here, and when we complain that the referee's not booking their players, you know, he has a go at our players. It is what it is, the referee's a joke. We've got another free kick. Pritchard's done very well here on the left hand side. He tries to put a ball in but it's blocked and he'll get nowhere near the rebound. Billy Clark's dancing around the Tranmere defenders like they're not even there. And he's done well to earn his another corner. Ten minutes to go, still 1-0. Ball comes into the box here. Elliot Watt heads it away. Feeney's got the ball here. 50 seconds left on the clock and number three's got the ball on the left hand side. He goes into Morgan Ferrier who's up against Billy Clark and Cousin Dawson. He goes past Clark. He gets the ball in. Oh my god, I don't know who that was, but he's tapped it wide and we've got a goal kick. It's flashed across the face of our oh. goal, Ellie White's furious with the referee. Might have been James Vaughan who had the shot, I couldn't quite see that. But that is, oh my god, who wore it? No, it wasn't James Vaughan, I think it was a substitute actually, but he's put it wide. Jesus Christ, 15 seconds left on the clock. O'Donnell hammers the ball along, but we're well over the three minutes now, Novak brings it down. Tyler French is about to come on the pitch if required. And that should be time. Oh, it's going to be, we, we've got the throw in here. We're 30 seconds over time. Surely we're going to pick up another three points under Truman and Sellers. Our third win on the bounce. 10 points from our last 12. Truman and Sellers really have turned it around here. And that is full time. Another victory. We've beaten one of the best sides in the league. James Vaughan's going to be crying. Once again, he'll be having a whinge all night long because he's been in Paddy O'Connor's back pocket the full game. Lee Novak with that 60-second minute header. 
I see enough for us to pick up another three points, another away win, back to back away wins. Jim's Vaughan, to be fair to him, he's coming over and he's congratulating all of our players. Fair play to him. Good luck to Tranmere though for the rest of the season and that is where I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like would be massively appreciated. 60 likes as I said at the start of the video would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new. We've got Port Vale at home on Tuesday, that's a 7 o'clock kickoff. So once again, there'll be a vlog for that. We are on some fine form at the moment. Let me know down in the comments below, would you hire Truman and Sellers or do you want an experienced manager? Another three points though, late Merry Christmas to you all. Make sure to go down into the description and the comments. Check out the Just Giving page for the charity stream and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.